Good morning guys, it's Carrie. I just literally got in through the door and I am here at school. I'm kind of doing like a vlog today just of what's happening inside of my classroom and how I'm kind of preparing and setting up for the new school year. I usually come in um, during the summer to kind of get ready and prep and prepare for what's happening especially because our school hosts a lot of summer school so I have teachers that sometimes come to teach in my room and I just want to come in and make sure that nothing is out of place and I want everything all set and ready to go so that's gonna be my day today it's gonna be quite a long day of moving things and getting some things ready but hey, all in preparation for the new school year, right? So after getting into my classroom and seeing what was happening with the space and what was going on with the previous lessons that took place in my class, the first thing that I really wanted to do was to organize my space better, especially with our COVID-19 guidelines that we recently got from the Department of Education. And what our guidelines are for here in Hawaii for this new school year is currently that students are allowed to be at least three feet apart and they are supposed to be required to wear masks throughout the whole entire school day and so that's just what i'm doing here right now i'm making sure that my spacing between all of my desks are at least three feet apart some desks are a little bit farther than some others and that's why you also see me carrying around the giant meter stick here and there from the classroom now i also wanted to start to just clean up and get prepared for the new school year today just because this is one of the days that I set aside during my week to really just get stuff done and get things cleaned up and ready to go. The one main thing for the day that I really wanted to do is to really set up the desks and the reason for that being is I don't actually have my class list yet out for my class but I always like to be prepared in case I do get new students or sometimes students do get dropped from my classroom and I always just like to have those extra desk spaces just in case. During a normal school year we actually also would be switching classrooms as I teach mainly the science classes while I leave the other side subjects to my co-workers such as science uh, such as social, social studies stem and health but for this year we may not of course be trading classes it's a possibility though but we just have to kind of wait and see how the guidelines continue to play out here in Hawaii if not, I do want to make sure that the students are distanced and separated from each other. Now this is a little bit of a different setup from what I normally have inside of my classroom. Usually inside of the front there, I usually have a carpet space that is big enough to accommodate my classroom. But I had to move it off to the side and to the back of my room there because I needed some more space in order to fit at least 25 desks inside of my classroom. Now I'm quite lucky here in Hawaii that our class sizes are not very big. I think a size of 25 is actually just right and it's just good enough. I have been in classes with 27 to 29 students in a class and that's just quite an overwhelming amount of students and so here at my school we typically range from the 25 and below level so I just wanted to make sure that I did have enough desk spaces just at least for 25 and I did have to do some rearranging and shove some moving of the desks up in order to make enough space as when I was counting throughout this entire process I didn't actually have enough desks as of yet so 
With that being said, I did finally manage to move all of the desks around and have them spaced generally three feet apart from where each child is sitting. I did have to again adjust some student desks where some students in the back there are not exactly facing all in the same direction but so long as they're able to see the board and my projector in the middle of the classroom then they should be totally fine and should be okay for the day and this is going to be what my classroom is going to be set up mainly as for this new school year i feel like it's a pretty good setup and i can move around the classroom very fluidly and I don't have to worry about banging into things or accidentally touching any of the student desks as I feel there is quite a bit of space between everything that is there. After I had my desks in the positions that I feel are best for the new school year, I decided to move on to clean up this very messy and cluttered back area over here. So this area is basically where I have just put some bins out and a lot of materials because this was for the last week of summer school here at my elementary school. I was lucky enough to just only do a week of summer school and I taught fourth and third graders STEM. So a lot of the materials and rubber bands and other things that I'm sorting through here are from that particular STEM class and I'm really just trying to clean up and salvage what I can from the bins. Certain things I am throwing away because I can't really use them anymore or they're kind of gross so I wanted to just get rid of those items and for the other items I'm going to pack them up and store them for later. Now this area I did want to clean up and make it as clear as possible because I do have an idea or a vision for this space. I really would like to use this space as a paperwork or a turn-in area for some of my students. I found that it's really helpful and very organized when I do this with them. After that, I hopped onto the computer to get some paperwork printed. Um, these are just some signs that I'm going to be using in my classroom for this year. So I just wanted to quickly print them out. Heading to the library. Making some copies today because the copy machine is finally working. So you can finally make some color prints and other things like that. The nice thing about this is that there's AC. Oh, it feels so good. All right. Get your own private room. We made it. Our elementary school campus is quite large, so sorry that I was a bit out of breath while walking up to the copy machine in our library it's just that because our campus is so big you really do get a workout and some exercise when walking around from place to place and so here i'm just basically printing out those signs that i had typed up earlier and i also had a few other signs that i had purchased from teachers pay teachers that I wanted to use this year for my ELA and my mathematics whiteboard. I really wanted to try putting these up this year and so I wanted to make sure that I had them printed so that I am able to laminate them and they can last me a long time. If you don't have a personal laminator, I highly suggest that you invest in one. 
This one here is my own personal laminator that I like to use for both personal reasons and of course for school. I purchased it off of Amazon and it was quite cheap along with the lamination film that goes along with it. And I really just enjoyed putting different papers through the laminator here because it makes it last so much longer and it makes it so much more durable. The laminator that we do have here at school is pretty good but I feel like the film is not quite as strong as when I use this laminator for my schoolwork. And I also have this simple cutter here which I just use in order to make more precise cuts. I do have a larger cutter in the back of my room but it's not going to be as precise as what this one does for me and so I usually end up going through this process where I simply just keep laminating and also cut at the same time. So another area that I wanted to focus on today for my classroom cleanup was this area by the front door. So I really wanted to clean up this area in order for me to hang up the signs that I just laminated. And in addition to that, I wanted to install this little mailbox on top of the sidewall area by the front door. For this mailbox in particular, I wanted to be able to have my students drop off mail to me or even make money payments if we're going on a field trip or anything like that in the future. So I just wanted to have something there that's easily accessible for myself and for the kids to just be able to drop things inside. Now if you're not this handy, I do suggest that you get help because this was quite difficult for me to work with and to get the mailbox screwed into the actual wall. And also please make sure that if you're doing this to your classroom, just double check to, with your custodial staff or with your administration and make sure that they do allow the heavier types of classroom modifications before you start to do anything like that. And here finally I am able to install the new laminated classroom signs up so that my students know what the mailbox is all about and they're able to see some examples along with some non-examples as well. And so the next area that I worked on in my classroom is right next to the mailbox area. For this area, it's usually where I have my scheduling and it also tells the students what day of the week it is. This is quite important to me because I really want to know the date. and also for the students as well because some of them don't always remember what the day is <laughs> but i also wanted to fix this area because earlier it was really gross and disgusting and covered in expo marker so the previous signs that i had up here i did rip down and now they are replaced with these ones that are much more nicer Additionally, I am just sticking magnets onto some of the laminated pieces so that it's more accessible and easier for me as well. I do like using Expo to write on top of things, but I do find that the Expo does make things dirty after so many uses. The last part of my classroom cleanup for today was just to reorganize my teacher's desk. I just needed to throw some things away and get some things in order. And this was also the time where I was able to take a break and eat. <laughs> and finally, for the end of the day, I am actually just going to be taking care of our classroom pets. 
I do keep fish as my classroom pets. They are just so easy to take care of and very easy to clean up after and I just enjoy watching them throughout the day. They do require a bit of maintenance of course but I feel like that they are very rewarding to have in the classroom and the kids are also very excited to see the fish swimming around inside of the tanks. The first tank that I cleaned was actually for my one fish that is new. He's a betta fish that I got from our local pet store. And in the second tank that I am cleaning right now is my Cynodontis catfish, which he's a pretty big catfish, so I unfortunately was not able to combine the two fish tanks together but that's okay so long as now both our classroom fish are happy and healthy hello guys i am back from work and if you guys notice yes i have done a quick outfit change i was really gross and sticky and grungy after coming back home and I am going to be going out later tonight with just a few of my friends. So I really wanted to change and just get out of that outfit. But this is where the vlog will be ending for today. I will be making a separate video to showcase my classroom to all of you guys. So be on the lookout for that. And if not... I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you later.